educate, entertain, and inspire young people to, to be what God has created them to be. Our world is changing, and the standard of living is becoming more and more difficult. People enter and leave marriages like eating a piece of cake. The number of malpractices that have been recorded by our universities are rampantly going higher. Social media has taken a trend, and a lot of young people are engaged in looking at pornographic movies and short films, which is involving them in doing immoral acts. Also, we have also recorded that violence has taken another trend in our universe when young people have been involved in, in doing things that are supposed not to be done by politicians and people of high influence in society. Most recently, coronavirus has hit our universe so hard that it has turned everything to a pause. Schools and institutions are closed. All our religious gatherings have been stopped. And the question is, what should young people be doing in such a time when the world is changing to another level? What should I or what should you be involved in doing in developing you and in taking your, taking your brand to another level so as to match up with the changing world? I'm here to help you to understand exactly what you must be doing or how you should be developing yourself instead of just staying at home doing nothing so as to Get in touch with the change in the world instead of following the trend of how things are going. Stay with me, stay glued. Hello world, I am Daniel Jonathan Bangro and I'm bringing to you Reality Lab. Reality Lab is a purpose-driven talk show that is designed to educate, entertain and inspire young people to be what God has created them to be. Welcome again, and tonight, episode 8 of Reality Lab, I'll be helping you to understand certain things, principles, and disciplines you need to enact in your life to create changes in your life. Meanwhile, as I stated earlier, the world is changing. A lot of things that we used to know yesterday are no more today, and they will not be tomorrow. But there are things that you need to do to help you to stand it today so as to move with the changing world of tomorrow. I always tell everybody I meet that things will never be the same. So you as a person need to develop yourself. Make sure you empower yourself positively so as to match up with the technological, spiritual, and all other aspects of growth that is trending around the world. Firstly, one of the first things that you need to concentrate on in doing right now is developing a personal relationship with God. There is nothing that is more important than developing a relationship with God. Three or four weeks back, when I was discussing about how to discover purpose, I mentioned that God is a manufacturer and is the foundation of every single thing that we do. Thus, you need to understand that God is everything. In Him, we have life. In Him, we know what we are called and meant to become. So make sure that this time that the world is changing to another trend, wherein all our institutions are closed, wherein all gatherings have been stopped, these are the time you need to take and remember that there is a God. Take this time to discover or redefine your life into a better way, into a better trend, so that it could help you to another level. Remember, that who we are made in the image and likeness of God. And when I did a research on the word image, I came to understand that image means characteristics. That is to say, I have the characteristics of God. But me to know the characteristics of God, I need to go deeper with him. Remember, he's a manufacturer, and you cannot know the, man the product well as the manufacturer knows. So you cannot know anything about you if you don't go back to the manufacturer. So go back to the manufacturer, develop a relationship with him, and it will be well with you. So that when the world comes to a resume, and we begin to play again, 
to all our busy schedule and everything, you'll be able to match into it. Secondly, you need to be at work. In. The Bible already tells me that see if a man diligent in his business, he will stand before kings and not mere men. In whatever arts you are in, in the world of music, in the world of acting, in the world of you know drawing and all other stuff, make sure you take this time to develop that craft. Don't be idle and doing things that are not meaningful. Don't be on social media and just use it, you know, carelessly or for non-purposeful means. Make sure you use the social media very useful in developing that thing that is within you. If you are to practice, make sure you practice. If you are to write that book, make sure you write that book. That song that you have been dying to write, make sure you write it now. Because there will not be a time like this when you have this precious moment to spend in developing your craft. Be hard working. Jesus said in John that the night comet when no man shall walk. There is a day and this is your day. Make sure you use this day very well to develop that thing that is within you so as to reach to the next level of your life. Thirdly, let us always learn to retreat. Always learn to go back to the drawing board. Paul tells us in Colossians, in Corinthians, that we should examine ourselves whether we are in the faith or not. There's always a time when you leave the busy schedules, leave all the things that you are doing, and come back and think of how life is going or how life has been treating you, or what are the things that you have done that are positive and the things that you have done that are negative. Try to count the things that you have led you to a positive ground and note that you need to keep doing those things. Note the things that have led you to a negative round and note that you need to cut those things down. Come back, do a retreat. One of the things that have helped me a lot is that I always go back. Go back to the drawing board and scale my actions. What are the things that have led me to be successful? What are the things that have led me to go on a negative ground? And when you know these things, it will help you to move to the next level of your life. So always make sure you retreat. Use this time in your home in your place of um, vacation or whatever that most of the things that we used to do in the world are in pause now. Use this time to go back and retreat and think about the things that you have been doing that are wrong and think, think about the things that you have been doing that are positive and you scale and do the right thing. Fourthly, set goals. It is always good to set goals. I've always told people around me, no matter how small the goal is, I've always set a goal. As small as I want to make somebody smile every day. That is very small, but it's very positive. That is to say, goals are important because your goal is what leads you to a particular trend in life. Your goal is what leads you to your purpose. If you don't have a goal, you don't know your pathway. You don't know exactly where you're going. I'll use this example. When we watch football, the players have a goal. They have an aim. That is to put the ball behind the net. That is their goal. No matter how much they dribble, no matter how much foul they are played, no matter how much uh, shot they, they take, their main aim is to make the ball go back of the net. So make sure no matter how small it is, right. This is another powerful statement because it's an element that has changed my life. When you read the book of Habakkuk 2.2, it states that Write your vision and make it plain. That whosoever reads it, we want to eat. Even though it will tarry. That is to say, even though it will take a long time, but it shall surely come to pass. All your vision, all your goals, all the ideas that you are storing in your mind, make sure you pen them down. Write it and write it. Always learn to set goals. These are some of the things you should be doing. Finally, make sure you put an action plan. You know, in Africa, what I've observed so far, we are very good in planning. We are very good in writing. We are very good in putting up ideas and all. But one thing we fail to realize is execution is everything. Execution, it's what makes your dream come to reality. That's the only thing that makes all the ideas in your mind to come to reality. So make sure that as you are planning, make sure you put action plan. It's a to-do to list. What you need to do to the next step, what you need to do tomorrow, what you need to do the day after tomorrow. It's always important that we have a to-do list and an action plan. 
I believe with this five points, you know exactly what to do in such a season. In such a season wherein a lot of norms have been, a lot of positive norms have been distorted by our universe. A lot of norms that our society have groomed up within us are negative. We are in the negative side of human beings have been praised. We are in the positive side of human beings have been deemed. This is a time wherein we as young people, we need to grab up our positive side and groom them up to seeing that the next phase of our life as our world is changing will be positive. Make sure you grab this point. Make sure first of all, you develop a relationship with God. And secondly, you be at working. Thirdly, make sure you retreat and develop that thing that is within you. And fourthly, set goals. No matter how small or no matter how big they are, make sure you set goals. And lastly, do an action plan. Set an execution plan for your goals and your vision. That will lead you to become successful in this trending, changing world. As always, I'm your host for Reality Lab. And this is episode 8. I'm Danny Banks. Hello world. I am Daniel Jonathan Bangor and I'm bringing to you Reality Lab. Reality Lab is a purpose-driven talk show that is designed to educate, entertain, and inspire young people to, to be what God has created them to be. Speaking on the need for young people to be involved in doing positive stuff in society, we are having an interview which depicts the message that we preach. And this interview is going to be done by Crispin Air Gauja. Stay blessed. Hello viewers, this is um, Reality Lab for you, for me and for everyone, um, bringing you lives, real events that may change your life completely. And of course, today's topic is change world. Um, but for this particular session, I will, I will say um, change Sigalio, because um, quite recently we saw uh, the invention of uh, hand sanitizer uh, by the NAPS, uh, National Association of um, Pharmaceutical Students. And today we are privileged, there are many questions surrounding this. And we are privileged to uh, meet with uh, the president for this association. And there are many questions we may like to know, and my very self. And I think we'll stop here and he will start by introducing himself, his name, and telling us about the association. What does it comprise of and many more? Hello, viewers. My name is Fode Maratri. And thank you very much for hosting me at Reality Labs. Um, the National Association of Pharmaceutical Students, Sierra Leone NAPS itself, is the umbrella body for all pharmacy students in Sierra Leone. To us, uh, fortunately, uh, we only have one pharmacy faculty in Sierra Leone, which is under the College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences. Um, so we currently comprise of 357 students for both um, the BFARM and the program and the diploma program. Um, the association was founded in 1993 um, to now, uh, so currently we are also a member association under the International Federation of Pharmaceutical Students, which is the IPSF, and uh, we are under the AFU region. So the association was awarded the best association for IPSF, AFU. In Africa, all pharmacy schools, I think all the pharmacy schools in Africa, our association was the best association for the mandate of 2018-2019. And at the College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences, we were also awarded the best association for yourself and College of Medicine to be specific. So if you ask me about NAPSESL, this is NAPSESL for you. Okay, so how long have you been serving for? Um, I've served for like seven to six to seven months now because I came into the mantle of the president's um, 20th August, no, September 5th, 
um, what I was then the teaching her before I became the president. Okay. I'm coming to the invention of this hand sanitizer. I think this is a golden buzzer for um, Sierra Leone because we have this um, natural saying, say, people can talk, say, better to know the can I and then things in the And this is really happening. It happened under your regime. And so what's led to this, 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 this great move, inventing this um, hand sanitizer? I know people have the saying that can any good come from Nazareth? But Jesus was born in Nazareth. <laughs> There's nothing bad com coming from Sierra Leone. Um, um, I think the National Association of Amasika Students, we had our NAPS week, which was from the um, 9th to the 14th of March. So during this period, we I came up with, we um, during this NAPS week, we have, we celebrate pharmacy in various facets. So we had the International Women's Health Symposium down to the post with NAPS, down to the Vampire Cup campaign where students donate blood. We actually have some blood donor, I myself donated. And then this year I came up with a company skills event. The pharmacy is a science and it's an art wherein you are taught to compound various pharmaceuticals. That means you can like the paracetamol tabs you're drinking, we can actually compound. We are trained to do that. The paracetamol seal up the elixirs, the IV fluid, the injections, and all, all of this training. So I think back 2017 when we visited Ghana for the International Pharmaceutical Students Symposium, AFO, we were taught how to do sanitizers, insect repellents. So I think what we can do under my regime, I said, okay, now let's start the company skill seven. We had lots of students, close to 20 who participated, and we have a winning team. During that time, I can still remember around the, the 6th, no, the 11th to the 10th, we still haven't recorded any case. And so during a white coat ceremony, which is a ceremony we do as an orientation to get those that are just coming into the pharmacy uh, course, and those that are going out will be sworn, sworn in as clinicians. That's the final part one, final part two. We had a presentation done in relation to COVID-19 by the public health manager for the Ministry of Health, who was Famuke Fambule, Famuke Fambule, presented about COVID-19. And then the discussion came up. What can we do as pharmacy students in the fight of COVID-19? But I, as the president, had my plans then. Because, um, as I say, we have the IPSF AFO and I have connections to other country. I see what they're doing and I also think about what we can do. So we sat down and somebody said, okay, um, we can do infographics. We did the infographics. We can donate vinegar buckets and washing. We did that uh, to the less privileged and to the College of Medicine. And then I had this idea of making sanitizer and somebody said okay yes let's make the sanitizer somebody also from the team said we can make the sanitizer so from there as a president i formed a working group for the covid19 response team so we did our infographics where we adopted it from who and cdc and also we donated our bonica buckets and unwashing materials to college of medicine and allied sciences and then we worked on the sanitizer. So was this drive mainly for the COVID-19? Yes, um, like majority of the situations that I've been, I've had interview from, they are asking why now, why COVID-19? Uh, I think there is this famous quote that I always say, necessity is the mother of innovation, invention. So we saw the need, we saw a gap, COVID-19, we all know what COVID-19 now is all about. We all know how the means of trans transmission, what the prevention is, what is key. The face masks use, though we are maintaining the distance here and we hand washing. But on a very serious manner, the use of hand sanitizer plays a better role than all those other things because when you have the hand sanitizer, um at at a percentage that is required so what we did is we had research and then we came up with a formula we adopted a master formula 
It was cross-checked by the Pharmacy Society of Sierra Leone, cross-checked by the Pharmacy Board of Sierra Leone, the Young Pharmacist Group, and then we backed it up with our W. So we ensured that the, the ingredients were tested, and after the production, the product was also tested, and it passed the specification. So it's efficacious. It can be used. But now um, to your second question. Our first batch was for us to see how we can donate. So we donated 100 to the University of Surrey. Okay. We donated um, 100 to the 34 military hospital. And mind you, when I talk about 100, it's 200 mils bottle, 100. Okay. So if you're donating 100 to 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 University of Australia, that's like 5 million or so, you understand, yeah. donated. And we donated 500 to the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, that's wow. 25 million watts. So that's what we do, we, we, we donate at this point. But for the second batch, what we want to do is, we'll still continue to do our donation for the for the less privileged communities or so. But what we ensure we do also, we sell at cost recovery. So that's what we're working on. And currently, we are working to see how it could be registered. Okay, so um, this is really, really great. I think I'm very, very happy about this, and I, I know many people out there. And so, what are the future plans? Because many people may say, "Where well, this don't start, so maybe we go get other one the way they can be." And so, <laughs> can we hope for for more from uh, this um, pharmaceutical board? Uh, the, the, uh, not the pharmaceutical. Oh, yes, sorry, it's it yeah, yes. Yeah, no. yes. Um, all I can say, we are working on something. We, 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 as an association under my leadership, have a plan. Okay. So the sanitizer, hopefully, we are praying that it will not be the only thing that will come out. But we don't want to say we've done this or we are working on this then at the end of the day it does not come up we started working on the sanitizer since the 18th of march and we did our production the first of may by the time we came out to the public everything was accurate so we have other things that we're working on but currently we cannot see but until when it has been validated step by step and it is all finished and it is accurate that will come to the public that we've done this because we do not want to treat Sierra Leone with, uh, I don't know, trivility. We don't want to, to just say people in Sierra Leone don't understand. We want for anything we produce can stand the world market. So for now, if you can take your sanitizer to any other regulatory co company in Ghana, Nigeria, it will pass all specification. So that, those are the kind of things we want to do. Those are the kind of quality we want to render to this country. So we don't just want to say, we'll do this, other thing. There are other things we are working on, and we pray that God will give us the strength and continue to lead us so that we'll finish them. But once we finish them, we can assure you that it's 100%, or if not 100%, it's 99%. Okay, so talking about strength, I know, I am very much sure you had challenges. So <laughs> can you... <laughs> Uh, 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 coming to this limelight, you, you must have challenges you faced. So, can you briefly, as we close, can you tell us the things you faced? Challenges? In general, not well, alone. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, if, I, if I start listing the challenges, uh, reality right. lab. It's, we'll put it for one <laughs> another show. Yeah. But uh, I can believe. I, I believe there was a time when we almost, we almost like, like okay, we cannot continue because we we are not seeing things happening. Nothing is happening, and even to this point, I'm talking to you. We are facing challenges in relation to the sanitizer. You understand? But these are things we believe we will overcome. I remember when. We were about to get the ethanol that we use for the production because we use ethanol, glycerol, and then hydrogen peroxide and water. You understand? At different percentages. For us to get the ethanol, I can remember I was in the vehicle until 11.30 oh. coming to Fita just to go and take the ethanol from Alex. And I can remember the team had to 
the, the production was free. The students have to volunteer. We just train them. So these are all challenges. For us to get the facility, we had to write through um, the, the Tati Formality facility that was designed by WHO for us to produce. So there are lots of limitations and challenges in relation to this ABHR. But one thing we are, of course, um, um, we, are, we are certain and we know that those challenges will be overcome. Sure. And then that for no reason will discourage us. We will ensure that we'll move on and then ensure that the people of Sierra Leone knows that students don't just go to college and come back. We have also the ability and the potential to do whatever thing Ghana is doing, Nigeria is doing, or UK and so is doing, depending if the platform is is created and the environment is 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 used, uh, uh, is is very comfortable for people. Then we can do whatever thing we want to do. Okay, so um, this is really a great one, and I hope um God gives the strength to do more. Mm. Thank you very much for your time and uh, pulling through. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. So, give and take from all what we've had. I think we are making waves. I think this note of the Salon again, we people always they talk bad, but I think we are getting there. And this is really, really a great one. And I hope and I know people out there are very, very much appreciative to NAPS for um, doing this and inventing what we call ours, I mean, made in Sierra Leone. And this is Reality Lab, and I've been Crispin A. Gauja. Till we meet next, have a nice day.